Welcome to part 3 of Commercial Ice Machine. Here we have the refrigeration cycle. So, if a TXV is used, low evaporator superheat readings are of 3 to 4 degrees are common. And this is to make sure the ice sheet is full. And often the evaporator is a tube which is coiled around the cylinder. And more than one expansion is going to be needed and used in parallel for better refrigerant distribu distribution throughout the evaporator. And the tube and the cylinder are both covered with a thick, rigid insulation, and ice flake machines are critically charged with refrigerant, which is weighing in the correct chain. And this will let the ice machine to operate to its greatest potential, which is under all conditions. And charging by the frost liner sight glass or pressure method is going to create unwanted insufficiencies. This is because an exact critical charge of refrigerant is needed by the manufacturer. And ice flake machines are re retrofitted to a parallel refrigeration system which is used in large supermarkets. And in this situation the compressor and condenser from the parallel refrigeration system are used and the pressurized liquid from the head of the parallel system is routed to the ice flaker and the pressurized liquid will encounter the metering device of the packaged flaker. That's it and I'll see you in the next one.